Thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate you as well. You've uh, get, definitely given a lot to our community and uh, we love learning from you. And I really appreciate your, uh, your kind words and uh, you're an inspiration to all of us. And I'm really happy to be here. Um, thank you, Maria, for the opportunity once again to share uh, some of my wisdom and experience, uh, some of my passion with everyone here. So this is a really special meeting. I love this time of the year. I really love um, thinking about the future. Um, the end in mind is definitely a favorite exercise. And, you know, I, I feel a little uh, taken aback because I was a little bit like teasing Melanie the other day about crying, you know, when she was doing her end in mind and just giving her a little rib. I was sobbing today. <laughs> all day while I thought of these goals and the word and preparing and the end of mind. And uh, so I already want to just say, um, excuse me for my emotions. It's been an emotional day <laughs> already. Um, so I'm going to introduce myself and I'm going to introduce myself with a little bit of um, part of my end in mind and my goals that I set last year. And um, yeah, so it's... <laughs> This is what made me really emotional. Everything that's changed for me this year, all of it came from a, all the goals that I set last year at this time. So this is me and my partner, Jim. We set some big goals last year and we achieved them. <laughs> Sorry. And I just, you know, like I wouldn't, I don't know if we would have set the goals without all the work that we do here. And I'm gonna to talk to you about dreams. I'm gonna to talk to you about the setting of the goals. And I'm gonna start with my proudest moments at Tupperware. And one of them, of course, is sharing the experience with the kids. I shared this last week uh, when I introduced myself. Proudest moments is just giving opportunities for the family to travel that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to have together. And, um, you know, I, at the beginning in the first, uh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself very well because I got emotional. Hi, I'm Monique Strathern, my partner, Jim, my kids, Alex and Joey. I've been with Tupperware for seven years. I've been in multi-level marketing for 15 years um, and I'm a future millionaire. <laughs> that's that's how I introduce myself. Um, but um, yeah, so in the first um, 10 years of those 15 years, I, I didn't set the goals. I didn't do the 100 goals. I, didn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't get my head around it. When people started talking about the why, I just, I, it was really, really hard for me. So I just want you to know if it's hard for you, that's okay. It's normal. If you're at this meeting or you didn't come to this meeting because you said, oh, it's just that goal setting meeting. I'm not going because they're not going to talk to me about the next specials and the samples. It's okay. <laughs> You'll, I, I mean, I got there. And so the, the things that are my proudest moments at Tupperware, they started as, as goals, right? Did anybody put down as one of their goals you know, I want to go on one of those Tupperware trips. Did anybody put down um, that they want to get one of those Tupperware cars? So this is my second Today, proudest we moment. We deliver a car. Tupperware. And I'm sorry, I can't watch this video without sobbing. <laughs> so earning that free car, that's a highlight. <laughs> and that was one of my hundred goals. Money! <laughs> See why I was crying. Hi, my name is Monique Strathard, and this is my new Tupperware rug. <laughs> this is Joey, and this is Alex, and they're the most excited about this car because that means they get to drive mom's other car. <laughs> I joined Tupperware five years ago, and I've been working really, really hard towards earning our dream car. <laughs> Second proudest moment. 
Jim still never lets me forget that I didn't introduce him in this video. <laughs> I only introduced the kids. My third proudest moment, it's, today? it's kind of what we're talking about today. This is my dream board, one of my many dream boards that I've been able to do through the years, working on our end in mind, our hundred goals, all the work we do. Um, this is my favorite one. And uh, you can see I'm there even back in 2021 with my I am responsible sign, my cars, my trips, my dreams, everything is enc encompassed on this board. This board is my screensaver. Um, and so that is my third proudest moment is the opportunity to do all of this professional and personal development uh, with with a, such a positive community. And, you know, I worked prior to my 15 years as a, a multi-level marketing entrepreneur. I had a pretty big career as an accountant. I was a CPA. I was the controller of a, a couple of different organizations. But, you know, this kind of community and this kind of exercise is not something that we got to do. Um, certainly not uh, to include anything personal. We may have been involved in setting the, the goals for the company's financial <laughs> interests, but it didn't really touch my heart <laughs> like, like this does, right? So yeah, so you may be embracing this time of the year uh, or you may just be ignoring it. Like I, I didn't want to go to all those goal, goal meetings. Um, but it's um, it's 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 an evolution for me over over time, and I really love how Jean Philippe described how your why changes over time because certainly mine did. So this is that time of the year we're seeing resolutions, the one words, the goals, and here at Lady Emma we have a tradition of uh, our personal and professional goals, a hundred goals. So who has uh, already heard about these hundred goals and went what? <laughs> There's no way I can't set. 100 goals that just can't happen how could you ever think of 100 goals um and oh one thing i did want to say um <laughs> is so now i'm reading the comments um one thing i did want to say is if you have already set some goals for yourself could you write them in the chat as i'm talking uh it's just so powerful to have everybody sharing you know already if you've already started if you haven't already started um, let's start now, like start now and, and start your goals. So write them in the chat and write them on your paper at the same time, because, you know, you probably thought of a few things by now. Um, I hope that free car is on there, um, you know, and, you know, maybe a trip to Disney is on there. Um, so start writing your goals in the chat if you've got them set or if you haven't. And 100 goals, I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can get there, how you can at least start your 100 goals. And what I uh, recommend and what I expect is that between now and Monday, when we have our dream session, that you're completed. And so you're going to kind of show up at the dream session, ready to share uh, some of the goals that you've created, or, you know, just looking for some clarification, but you've already done some some work on on this. So, um, so starting off with those the dreams, and uh, you know, I'm just giving you some basic ideas. This is another worksheet, our worksheet on my dreams, and one way that we get started with the hundred goals is to really think about your big dreams or your big goals. And of course, we talked about it earlier. If you are working on the conditioning program, you're already talking about your five big goals of the year, okay? So you may want to think about those in the different categories and make sure they're balanced, like Maria said. So our dreams could fall into four categories, things which we would like to have, things which we would like to be, things which we would like to do, and things which we would like to give. And so you really need to open your mind for this. And we're going to do more of that on Monday night. So what would I dream if I knew that it was impossible not to succeed? 
So think big. So I just wrote down a few things and some of them are mine from my proudest moments and my dream board. So the free Tupperware car, maybe you want to have some renovations around your home. I hear that one a lot. Maybe you want to have a thousand VIP group members. So these are big dreams, big goals. Uh, for me on my dream board, you saw I want to be an elite five-star director. Uh, Debt-free is also a very popular uh, goal that people have for themselves. Maybe you want to be at home with your kids, right? And that was that was not my first why, but it was my second why. My first why, like Jean-Philippe said, was to stay uh, to make money. It was to make money, pay off debt. Um, and then that evolved later to, to be able to stay home with my kids. Maybe you want to do, maybe you want to lose 65 pounds. Uh, maybe you want to attend Jubilee, attend all the 10 training courses. Um, that's not a very big one, attend the 10 training courses. I should have thought bigger there. <laughs> you want to give a uh, volunteer with my charity. That's very important for me. You maybe you want to tithe with your church. Uh, give a gift uh, to your client for loyalty. So just some ideas uh, of the different categories. So that that's one way to start thinking about your goals. But as I said, um, when you come up with your five big goals, and you know, for, again, for those of you who are doing the conditioning, you write these down every single day. So you should be able to toss them off in the chat in two seconds flat, because by now we're in week six, <laughs> five, six, um, you have written them down 30 times. So if you know what your five big goals are, um, write those down in the chat um, for to inspire to inspire us all. And you know that um, there is no goal training <laughs> that would be complete without just touching on you know the smart goals. And so make sure. And again, we'll talk about this on Monday as well. But um, when you're thinking about a goal. Um, it needs to be a uh, smart, a smart goal. And I like this graphic because they gave the examples, right? So don't say I want more visitors or in our case, more guests, right? Uh, do it with real numbers. You know, I want to have three guests each event. Um, so make sure as you're thinking about your 100 goals um, that you are making those goals smart. And this is something that really helped me and this is part of um, Jack Canfield's work from our success principles and he has um, broken down into seven different categories and I find it helpful to brainstorm um, and in fact when I started my hundred goals I I did a free-flowing dump of everything that was in my mind I got to about 57 <laughs> with just things like I could just go blah, 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 blah. I didn't stop to think about which category, if it was to do, to be, to give, or to have. I didn't stop to think about, uh, you know, being smart. It was just like inspiration, like what was in my heart and what came to mind. And then at 57, I was like, oh, there's 43 to go. Now what? Um, so then I started to think about to be, to give, to do, to have. And I looked at them all and I said, are they aligned or am I sort of unbalanced and then I, I remembered I had this worksheet and I looked at this and I said okay I could do some more in the relationship with family and friends and just keep in mind that it's personal and professional okay and so if you also have a career a job outside of Tupperware you're probably going to have some for that job you're going to have some for your Tupperware business you're going to have some personal ones probably some family ones and, you know, all these different categories. So I think by now, maybe, and I do encourage you to be writing them down, like there's no time like the present. And as I said, I do expect them to be done by Monday. <laughs> um, you, uh, you, you'll, you should be, you know, up to about 57 by now or, or getting there. So I want to give you uh, two examples. And one was, this was one of my big goals from last year. My big, big goal was to achieve my desired goal weight of 170 pounds by December 31st, 2023. So that was one of the big ones I wrote on my big five. But all of these things on here are the small goals that I had to do to get there, right? So you don't just write down, I'm going to lose X weight or I'm going to weigh X amount. You're going to say, I had to join Weight Watchers. I started doing my 75 hard program. I started working out every day. I abstained from alcohol. I took my progress pick daily. I rewarded myself, right? So these were all different goals small goals to achieve that one big goal. So can you see how that would add up to 
a hundred pretty quickly. So if you can think big enough, really, I do encourage you to start with the five big goals, um, making sure you have balance among the to do, to have, to be, and to give, um, and then uh, break them down into the smaller goals. So one for us, um, my big goal, add a thousand VIP group members by December 31st. So you could put 10 different goals here, small goals to achieve the big goal. And this is gonna be different for you, depending on if you're full-time, if you're part-time, maybe your goal is only 500, maybe it's 2000, maybe it's 10,000. So I'm gonna send 20 invites to friends each day. I'm gonna go live on my personal profile every day and offer an incentive to join the IP group, ask current members, etc. So one big goal is gonna equal 10 or more small goals usually because we can't just write down, lose weight <laughs> and expect it to happen. You gotta have a plan and you have to break it down. So I hope you're able to kind of get your head around how you could possibly, possibly, possibly fill out these sheets now. And so my why, as I said, has changed over this past time uh, with Tupperware. And um, firstly, it was to make money. Um, we had a lot of debt, even though we were two people earning a full-time income. We had um, quite a lot of debt because you know what they say, the more you make, the more you spend, <laughs> right? Um, we were in the most expensive time of life. We had bought a home. We had had kids after five years of really expensive fertility treatments that went onto the line of credit. And then our septic system died and we had to replace that and we owned a home. So, and so on and so on. So it was financially madness. So getting the second job, getting the, the, the career, um, multi-level marketing career helped me earn extra income, pay down the debt. Later, uh, I really had a strong desire to stay home with my kids. That's when I quit. I retired from my accounting career at the tender age of 41 and uh, invested myself fully in my MLM business. And now my why, I, um, I'm, you know, everybody keeps talking about their active retirement and I'm not retired, but what I've realized is I'm on my way to an active retirement where I want to choose what I work on and who I work with, which is totally in alignment with my values. In other words, I don't have to do stuff I don't want to do with people I don't like. I can do what I love with people I love in, a, in an amazing community. And that's where I'm at. Uh, my mission is to help families become healthy, wealthy, and debt-free by cooking, eating, and working at home. And our vision in 2024, of course, I am responsible for my success and the vision of our power of confidence organization. We're an elite Tupperware organization of autonomous business people who prioritize personal development, leadership development, and living our chosen mission. So I want to see you on Monday night with your 100 goals, your why, mission, and vision. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there.